You were recording. Okay. Ah. Aha. Jamie. Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today we live. We live, baby. We live. So I'm here with my husband, my beautiful husband, Cam. Cameron. I'm also here with my Instagram fam. I wanted to do a Vicky Vibes video. The first time I tried to film this, I was all over the place. Then we just tried to film it together and I was once again all over the place. So I feel like I needed, I feel like I needed the constructs of a conversation in order to actually make this understandable and going somewhere. Today we are talking about relationships. I want to know what your questions are. Um, that have to do with friendships or, you know, romantic relationships, either one. I feel like they low key go hand in hand. So if y'all have any specific questions that we can answer, we can do that. Do we start off as friends and then get into a real relationship? How do you start adult friendships? Somebody cousin. <laughs> Watch your mouth. How do you know if you should break up or try harder? When they hit you up once a month. <laughs> That's not a relationship with me. No, not at all. Is women, woman intuition a myth? Mm -mm. No, it's not. Some women just suck at it. <laughs> no, it's not suck. It's some women don't trust their intuition. That's the thing. Find a question and we're going to start with that. Somebody had a good question that said, Which one? Do you start as friends or do you just start dating? Okay, that's what we're going to talk about first. All right. It's from, from the experiences that I've had dating and then my experience with my wife. I didn't start any relationship the way I've started my relationship with my wife. It was always like, I think she cute. I would hit up her friend or something like, let me get her number. And then we would hit it off or whatever. And then like three weeks later, we was together. All the times we on the phone, we boyfriend and girlfriend, we trying to figure out, you know, what you like, what you doing, you know, okay, do you like this, you like this? We never even built the foundation before we started trying to be something, right? So we just skipped a whole bunch of steps. You know, we always wonder why the relationships don't end up lasting. With Vicky, we started as friends. There was no, hey shorty, what's good with you? Let me holla at you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was nothing like that. I wasn't trying to be on nothing with her. After talking for nine months, I was like, man, I like this girl. Then after both of us committed to saying that we liked each other. Verbally. Yeah, we then Verbally. decided to continue talking for another four or five months before we even decided to make anything official because this relationship, I decided I wanted to do things the right way. I met her parents. I asked her dad for permission to date her. Dating is very serious when you're trying to you know, marry somebody. Once we began dating, then there was a different level that I had to go to. I couldn't just stay on the same level as friend. I gotta take everything up a notch. Build the foundation. Okay, we was cool. We was friends for you know, a year plus before we ever decided that we was going to be boyfriend and girlfriend, right? And if you don't build that foundation, you're going to be skipping steps when you should have a, you know, a few floors laid down. You're going to be trying to figure, find out stuff that you should have found out in the in beginning. The beginning. You, you're going to have a first date and you're going to be asking, you know, weird questions and making it awkward when you should have did that during the friend stage, yeah. right? People don't like the talking phase, but the talking phase is so important. Like y'all can't, you can't skip the talking phase. You can't, like there's no way for you to skip that and have a, a real relationship with somebody. We had an organic relationship. It, we didn't try to force nothing. It wasn't processed. It didn't have no MSG in it. It wasn't no microwave, pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds and it's done kind of thing. You gotta like sort the ingredients. You gotta cut stuff up. Like it was a process. There had to be an organic process in order for our relationship to even start being something. If you don't have any building blocks, you're gonna fall apart. Like you're gonna be on the 10th floor and then everything's gonna fall apart because there was nothing underneath. There has to be a vibe there, you know what I'm saying? Vibes. There gotta be vibes and it can't just be on no cute stuff. Like take all the romantic stuff out, what do you have left? A guy has to be able to show you like, okay, I'm not just talking to you just cause you're cute. What, what are the intentions? There has to be, good intentions at the beginning. What are your intentions when you meet somebody? When somebody comes and talks to you, when a guy approaches you, what are his intentions? Like, what is he telling you by the way that he's talking to you? We're flipping this for a friendship because it's the same thing with friendships. What about friendships? Like, how do we find good friends? How do I know if somebody is good for me or not? What are, you have to look at their intentions. Look at how the relationship is going. Look at their intentions. Look at what, why do they have you in their life? Is it just for benefits? 
Or is it because y'all actually have things in common and y'all build each other up and y'all are growing together and y'all are learning from each other? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what a healthy relationship does. A healthy relationship builds up, doesn't tear down. So if you're feeling torn down at any point, you have the right to leave. Relationships are meant to be enjoyed. They're meant to be fruitful. Okay, if it ain't going nowhere, then what's the point? Non-romance relationships like friendships, you can kind of get away with a few people coming in and out of your life and stuff because I mean, you learn from those people, but like you don't have to date a thousand men to know what a man is worth. I hate that. You do not. You do not have to date over and over and over again the same type of crazy trash dude to know what you like and what what you should be treated like. You should know from the jump. Before somebody even comes to talk to you, you should know what you're worth. You should know your value. You should know your worth. If you don't know that, you need to say no to everybody that comes and talks to you. There has to be You got to know that. An understanding you have to know I'm yourself. the bomb and I deserve. I don't deserve somebody coming up to me talking about I'm cute, hey shawty, what's your number? I deserve better than that, okay? Like, you're not gonna drive up to me in the passenger side of your best friend's ride and try to holla at me. I have a purpose. If you have a purpose, you know that your relationships should have purpose. So if your relationships don't have purpose, then why do you have them? You know, what's the purpose of you talking to a guy? What, what, what's his purpose? Like, what, does he know what his purpose is? You know, sometimes you can, you can learn those things with somebody, that works too because Cameron actually helped me find my purpose, which is how I knew that he was my husband because he helped me find my purpose. But it was never on no, you know, he was gassing me up trying to get in my panties kind of thing. Like he actually like genuinely cared about me as a person and cared about the fact that I had a purpose and wanted to help me figure out what it was. That's building each other up. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta have those kind of relationships in your life. You gotta have those kind of people in your life. Your friendships should be building you up and helping you find your purpose and helping you complete your purpose and your mission. And to that point, as I stated in the 17 other takes that we tried to do this, you have to be vibing on the same frequency in a relationship where you're physically attracted to that person or a relationship where you're trying to marry or pursue a marriage or a long relationship with that person, or it's a friendship. A relationship where you have, you know, they may be family members that you're very close to. They may be just people that you grew up grew up with. They may be people that you may meet on the way. Like, you have to understand the vibe. They were talking about women's intuition. You know, you have to discern, okay, why is this person in my life? And how, how can we both benefit from being in each other's lives? If you're both not benefiting, then somebody needs to go. So if you're vibing on the same frequency, then... Things are going to be melodious. The melodies are going to flow. Like the choir is going to sound good. But if you got them that hold that one section, the tenor section that's not holding their notes down and stuff ain't sounding right, then either the tenor section needs to put some more time in and practicing and rehearsing and understanding what their purpose is. Oh, man, you're not even a tenor, dog. Like you're alto. That's why you've been sounding off. Like you have to reevaluate where you fit in people's lives. When there's friction... When people are singing out of key, when people aren't singing to the melodies of, of the rhythm that you're going with, uh, then, you know, they need to go as well. So friction lets you know, yeah, it's not going to work. We're not vibing on the same frequency. You know, when you're vibing on the same frequency, everything is smooth. You can build on that. You can continue growing. You can continue trying to figure out, we've, we've accomplished this. We've laid this foundation. Okay, now let's go to the next level. Okay, we we finished with level one. Okay, now let's go to the next level. And, and different people in your life have different levels in your life as well. My wife comes at a different level than my parents. And my parents come at a different level than my cousins. And my cousins come at a different level than my friends. Speaking to the friction thing, there does need to be, you know, melody and harmony in your relationships. But that doesn't mean that when things get rocky that you leave automatically. You have to be able to understand what's worth you fighting for and what's not. Pick and choose your battles wisely. Like... Let's say you're dating this guy. He's a great guy. He's a cool dude. He's awesome. He's great. But he don't wash his dishes. That can be worked out. You know what I'm saying? There's some things can be worked out. Now, some things you can't take from people. You can't take somebody walking all over you, treating you like trash, talking bad, talking negatively towards you. That, that don't work. You have to have a level of understanding. Okay, is this something I can work through or is this something that's just going to tear me down and... and and hurt me over time. You know what I mean? You have to be able to recognize the difference between 
what you feel and what's real. Because some people, they ask about deal breakers and there are deal breakers. Anytime you are compromising your health, emotional, mental, spiritual health, anytime you're compromising that for somebody, that to me, that's a deal breaker. Or time put in. Like we, a lot of people, we don't look at time being a deal breaker, but it is. Like if I've invested so much time in your life and then you refuse to Change. give me the courtesy to you know, just let me know what's going on or just let me, and then you expect me to understand where you're coming from. Like that ain't, that's not cool either. My time is too valuable. Like I thought we had, I thought we was building something where this boyfriend and girlfriend or just, you know, friends, it all matters. Like time is very important. Like I can't get that time that I invested in you back. I, I don't consider it a waste, but I consider it like I wasn't a good steward of my time or you weren't a good steward of my time because you took it, you know, took advantage of it. Example, if someone yeah, falls out with Cam, do you stop, does Vicky stop being friends too? That's a great question, right? Um, so for instance, my wife may feel a certain way about a certain person. Guess what? Guess I may not, what? I may not fully agree, but I, I do, this is my house. She trumps everything. If she feels some way about somebody, I may not agree wholeheartedly, but I gotta respect it because I and love you have I to. love being on on time with the meet schedule. Understand what I'm saying? Okay. And anything that's going to disrupt the frequency of this house can stay outside. We don't need that in here. Vice versa. If I see somebody that you know, I, man, I don't like man. Nah, she can be like, you know what, babe. I, I understand where you're coming from. Like, that's why I said, you got to prioritize. And that goes for any relationship. What's going to keep the peace? Like, you don't have to fight about everything. Sometimes you, you see the potential in somebody. Potential. The potential to be a hindrance to my life. Sometimes you see the potential in somebody and you are fighting for potential. And you're not fighting for what that person actually is bringing to the table so because there's a, huge, alone. there's a huge difference between saying you're gonna do something and actually doing it we call them uh, about to do there are a lot of about to do's and i think that's why a lot of people be like oh men are trash because y'all be letting these about to do's you fall talk to you, you fall for the about you to do you fall for the about to do you can't fall for the yeah, man i'm about to get a job i'm about to call you and then you don't hear from them for three days or like the one chick said yeah, they call you every quarter uh what don't even don't even accept that guys too like don't accept that we we make it one-sided but it's both ways it's both parties how right. long do you give people like that a chance though uh my father gave me some excellent advice last week we were at the gym in the morning we were playing racquetball that's what we do uh on a weekly basis and uh we were talking about friendships and things of that sort my dad is in his upper 50s he's got exactly 30 years older than me he said son i'm at a point in my life where i don't have to tolerate certain things but you're still young, so you still have to put in time, energy, and effort to try and help people, to try and, you know, uh, salvage and salvage relationships, okay? Even if this person isn't communicating with you, you still got to put in the time. You still got to reach out. And eventually, they may come around. And if they don't, over time, whatever you feel like the grace period is, that's between you and God. You know, after you've prayed about it and God's like, you know, you can lift your hands from it, then you do that. But, like, we in the cutoff generation. Everything is like, oh yeah, I'm going to cut you off. I, I be feeling like that, but like my heart be like, man, I'll reach out to him. You know, I may not get the response that I may be looking for, but I, I did but what you did my your heart, part. you know what I'm saying? I did what I was supposed to do, yeah. you know, and, and that's, that's, that's all you can do. Like you can reach out, you can, you can figure out how long you need to, you know, extend that grace period, but don't allow them to take advantage of you. You got to, you got to do your part and then let it go. That's what my mom taught me how to do. It's gonna cut off. My mom taught me how to do your part and then let it go. So even with your your this relationship right here, or even when I was dating, the, my dating type relationship, my friendships with relationships with people at work, at school, with your job, with I mean, with even with God, even with God, you have to be able to do your part and then let it go, which means. Do what you're supposed to do. Be a good person. Cold never be, bothered me anyway. Try to be the best person that you can be. You can reach out. You can be nice. You can be sweet. You can do all of that. But 
after that, just let it be. And if it's gonna work out, then it's gonna work out. If not, then it's not. But make sure you're doing your part. Don't be messy. Hold don't be cool. Don't be petty. Even though I know we like to be petty, I like to be petty too. It's yeah. okay. But Vicky, don't be Vicky petty. struggles. Vicky struggles. With don't that. be petty. You know, don't don't cuss nobody out. Don't stress out about it. Don't be angry. Don't be getting jealous and all this stuff like that. Cut all of that out. It is hard. It is very hard. But you just gotta do your part and let it go. You wanna know why it's important for you to do your part? Uh, because once you do all the things that you know you need to do, there's like a checklist, right? Okay, I can check that off. I did that. I can check that off. I made sure I visited them. I can check that off. I made sure I called them. I can check that off. I said hi to them, even though they walked past me. They looked at me crazy. You know, I still smile. You know, I show love. I show grace. You can check off everything on your list. And at the end of the day, if they try to bring up any foolishness toward you, you can go back down the checklist and say, you know what? I, I did, did it this. all. Did I did, I did everything I needed to do because I did that. I, I'm at peace now. You gonna continue to act belligerent and act crazy and act boisterous? That's cool. That's on you. But I did everything that I was supposed to do. You always get back what you put out. If you're a good person, you'll get that back. And if it's not with that exact person, that's okay. Let them go, and somebody better will come along. So when you start aligning yourself right with what you're supposed to be doing then good relationships will come along. It doesn't always happen overnight. It doesn't always, because sometimes we have a lot of bad baggage, bad relationships, bad people around us. And then when we start trying to do right, it causes friction and then people start falling off. But, but in due time, you'll get back everything that you were doing right. So you just have to hold on, be who you're supposed to be and everything will fall into place. The right people will come find you. The right man will come find you when you're doing your part. When you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. When you're a good friend. When you're a good friend and you're a good co-worker and you're a good student and you're being honest and truthful. Honest and truthful people will come to you. But if you being messy, you talk bad about people behind their back, you selfish, you don't want to buy nobody nothing, you don't want to do nothing for nobody, you don't want to take nobody out or treat them, you don't want to pay for the person's Starbucks behind you in the line. If you ain't putting that energy out, you're not going to get that energy back. So you have to do that in order for good things to happen to you. Good things come to those who do good things. And on that note, we are going to... Oops, I'm so sorry, babe. I am so sorry. I All right, up that's it. That's it. We're uh, good. See y'all. We are going to end you. this. Peace. We're going to end this, but we love you. Grace and peace, and, everybody. And we're going to see you guys Bet. in the next 100. video. Yeah, that's we're, it. We're thinking I hope about you guys... the podcast, but we're probably going to start another YouTube channel specifically for this. Let us know if you guys would like us to do a separate YouTube channel or if we should just keep it on this channel or whatever. I don't even know. Just give me your suggestions. If you have questions, please leave them down in Depends the comments. On the church. Every and the don't talk while I'm talking. I'm doing my outro. Every church. Y'all finished? Y'all done? Leave your comments down below if you have any questions, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Friends and frequency. We gotta take a picture. Or should I just get a screenshot? Sit down. So I can get a screenshot. You finished stop talking to me like you're crazy. That's what you finished. Have a seat, baby. Come sit by me. Come sit by me. I'm about to. Can you calm down? Thank you. I'm